In this lesson, we're going to focus on graphing natural log functions and exponential functions with the base e. Now, the principles learned in sections uh, 1 and 2 of this lesson still applies here. The way you would graph a regular log is the same way you would graph a natural log. And the way you would graph 2 to the x is the same as e to the x. But let's work on some examples. Well, let's start with the graph e to the x minus 2 plus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the exponent equal to two things, 0 and 1, just as we did before. And we're going to make a table. So the x values that we're going to choose are, if you solve for x, it's going to be 2 and 3. The horizontal asymptote is based on this number. So y equals 3 is the horizontal asymptote. Now we don't need this part anymore. Let's find out the y value when x is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. e to the 0 is 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. So when x is 2, y is equal to 4. Now what about when x is equal to 3? What is the value of y? So 3 minus 2 is 1. e to the 1 is just e, and e is about 2.718. But let's round it and say it's 2.7. 2.7 plus 3 is about 5.7. And now we have enough information to make the graph. So let's start with the horizontal asymptote at 3. When x is 2, y is equal to 4. When x is 3, y is going to be about 5.7. So very close to 6. The graph is going to start from the asymptote, and it's going to follow the two points. So the domain is all real numbers, from negative infinity to infinity. The range is based on the y values. The lowest y value is 3, the highest is infinity. So the range is from 3 to infinity. Now let's try an example with the natural log function. Let's say ln x minus 1 plus 2. So this time we're going to set the inside part equal to three things, 0, 1, and whatever the base is. The base of a natural log function is always equal to e. And now let's find the value of x. So the first one, where x equals 1, that is the vertical asymptote. And when x minus 1 is equal to 1, if you add 1 to both sides, 1 plus 1 is 2, so x is 2. And if the other one is e plus 1, where e is 2.7. 2.7 plus 1 is about 3.7. So now let's find the y values. So let's plug in 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. ln 1 is 0. 0 plus 2 is just 2. Now 3.7 represents e plus 1. So if we replace x with e plus 1, e plus 1 minus 1 is basically just e. The 1's cancel. And ln e is always 1. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So we now have everything we need to graph it. So let's start with the vertical asymptote at x equals 1. Next, we have the point 2 comma 2, and then 3.7 comma 3, which is close to 4. The graph is going to start from the vertical asymptote, and it's going to follow the two points. The lowest y value is negative infinity, the highest is infinity, so the range, therefore, is all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. 
Now for the domain, the lowest x value is 1, the highest is infinity. So the domain is 1 to infinity. So as you can see, the techniques used to graph a regular log function is the same as for a natural log function. You just have to deal with e. And the techniques used to graph, let's say, 2 to the x is the same for, let's say, e to the x.